today this afternoon. There is a buffalo at the water hole, the Gary water hole. It will be now and then changing over between the two sighting of the buffalo between Gary water hole and from the vehicle itself. As we enjoy here, buffalo is one of the species but most of the time they really enjoy to be around water, more especially late time like now. The reason behind that is the perfect time for them to go towards the water and leave this, the area being so early. You know that this is a clever way of the buffalo. If they start to head down towards the water hole at night, they're not safe at all. Unless that is very common to see around Gary water hole because quite a lot of light. They can see whatever could be around the water hole from the distance. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, all of them around here. There's a variety of age around the buffalo here. Looking like we have young times and all bulls. The different ages, some of the buffalo, of course, there are two of them that are still young. The others, as you can see, Juan Juan, Stompy Tal, it's here. They're all of them old boys. This buffalo, most of them, as you can see now, the buffalo that we own, we really sometimes notice them around the area being individuals. Sometimes in a small group, like sometimes in a big number of, of bulls around here. I was just checking in the west, all the buffalo they look at the same direction because there's buffalo coming in. As you can see, it's very, very old. Check to my right here. It's very, very old. It's very patient when it comes to moving around the area. Slowly, slowly, it's heading down towards the water. Look at the head and the neck. The more leaning towards the ground from the front. And as he walks, look like the, the horns and the head is very, very heavy. Hello, mister. heavy animal it can weigh up to 600 to 850 kg and buffalo truck mm. I'm surprised because the aggie is almost covering the space there where the buffalo is supposed to drink water most of the time we tend to see these species avoid the aggie that's around the water hole sometimes we tend to see them creating themselves or moving the ugly away that they can really access the water so easily. One of the five species in early days this species become big five because it really doesn't want to die so easy. If you drill a bullet or aim and shoot it, it will turn back and like to fight if you didn't uh, aim correctly. Some of it they can pin between the shoulder to the heart uh, the best shooter they can draw the bullet in between the just below the horns straight to the brain that can die very quick but if you really miss that you know that the buffalo will turn back and follow and make a follow up where the blade comes from you really find that buffalo kills a lot of people on that way especially if you can shoot the buffalo and get wounded and run away wherever will be Coming close to the buffalo, what's going to happen? The buffalo will ambush, wait for you to come so close, and attack you from the behind. In that nature, buffalo are the Gregera species. You tend to see them in a very group, big number of buffalo like this, big groups, small groups. It happens and really in the bulls like this 
you may find that it could be one bull here that is more dominant, is controlling the rest. And the reason of that is so easy for the buffalo to get controlled. If there's no dominant one that really leads them, shows them the way, all of them, the mud, really claim to be dominant and lots of fight and so on. And also when it comes to mating, they really go to the female, back to the female, join the female, you tend to see them. The dominant one, they'll be the one that will first select the female and try to mate. Just listening to the radio communication, it's a big really herd of buffalo that located look like further more west. We'll slowly, slowly go on that direction and check around there. Slowly, slowly we'll be back again around the area, joining on the leopard sighting. We'll be hunting um, rhino, elephant, uh, lion if we're lucky. We know that our pride of lions have all moved. Some of them they have feather north, which is Kuhumas, look like headed to the east. The new males that always we had them at night around the camp, they're always north of our Gary Pefishuk boundary. They only comes once uh, there by Batelia Road, Central Road, up to Pefishuk Dam, and we weren't able to respond because of uh, the vehicle that were around in that area. We haven't seen them yet. We're hoping maybe we might see them in the very near future. They might come very close to Western Garden Quarantine, which tend to be open. They must spend a day there or two, you never know. But soon, I hope we're we'll going to see them. So let's leave them. Oh, Mr. One Horn, one of our characters. We have a few characters around the area.